Shout out Sniper T on the beat. Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise with life on the forefront of the mind. So line for line, you can ride this brain train and you can change your station without even touching the dial. So relax, stay a little bit, but listen for a while. And whether you're bumping this in the whip or in a business fit, it's a meeting you won't want to miss. A meeting for a meal to feed the soul with words for the mind. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Time to take off, it's time to fly. Cause Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise. Hey, 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 y'all. It's me, Tamara. Clappity clap, clap, clap. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to the show. For all of my new listeners, new episodes typically drop on Thursdays, but I always talk about my life, my interests, and the ways I'm trying to grow. So come on back through, you feel me? And for all my day one, two, 96, 132, whatever week you came in and you decided to just keep on coming back, I appreciate your continued support excuse me, support. Even though I'm like super late, (laughs) like here's the thing, my policy, so my episodes are supposed to drop on Thursdays and like, man, for so many years, because we in, we in year four, for so many years, I was never late or maybe Friday max, but not really like, and I mean, granted, I could say I have about a, I'd even say 95 out of the 211 weeks, or I guess this is 212. I'd say I have 95% on time, but we'll go 90 just to, you know. But my policy has always been that, so my drop date is Thursday. So as long as I have an episode out by Sunday, I'm late. Yes, but I'm still within the same content week because for me, a new content week in my mind starts on Monday. And so it being Monday night at the time of this recording, shout out to 12 Cal, but it being Monday night as I'm just now recording this and I'm about to drop this as soon as I'm done, that should just let y'all know that life been life and like it ain't never been life and before. And what's crazy is It's not even necessarily like there's been a ton of like my life falling apart type things. It's not even that. It's literally just I have been so busy. I've told y'all I do project management with the creative team at my church. Then I also do subcontracting clients. So I work a lot, right? And the thing about it is, I mean, obviously, you know, if Jesus's birthday is celebrated at Christmas, then that time of year is going to be busier for churches, like obviously, right? And we do a lot of content. Um, That's obviously why a project manager is needed for a creative team. And, And then also to keep in mind, our creative team means the worship team is a part of it the production side of things, the broadcast side of things, the content, so like photography, videography, marketing, communication, all that. So it's like a lot of different sectors, if you'll say, or whatever, that are a part of it. And so there are so many different types of projects that are going on. I mean, we're gearing up for things for next year. So Christmas Eve, though, is, I mean, obviously Christmas and Easter are usually the two times a year that people who, if they don't go to church, they may go then. And so busy, busy time. It has been a busy, busy season. There have been so many different things, and I've added so many things to my schedule that just were not there before, like all at the same time, though, right? And also incorporating working out back into my schedule because I had slacked off for a couple months and I've been really trying to be consistent about at least three times a week if nothing else I can't it's hard to do four right now with the way my schedule is with my subcontracting clients but for sure I got to get in three workouts a week right and so it is it is man y'all listen it has been 
very, very busy. I have had very, very long days a lot lately. It is funny because I see a lot of the same few people. (laughs) We spend a lot of time together and I always tell them it's so good that I actually genuinely enjoy being around y'all because otherwise it would suck (laughs) if we had to spend as much time together as we do. So with that said, I was talking to a friend of mine about how I was I was telling him like man I've never missed a week on um dropping an episode and explain the whole content week thing or whatever and I was like I I just I don't know I might I might just skip a week you know what I'm saying like I actually so strongly like never like other times it may be like I'm tired but I've never really just made peace in my heart that, and yes, it takes peace in my heart because my pride and not in a like ridiculously prideful way, but like I have prided myself in the fact that I have never missed a week. Right. And so there's always a part of me that's like, well, no, I got to keep that going. But man, listen, y'all, I had settled in my heart that I was just going to not drop an episode in I mean, shout out to him, though, because he basically was like, you'll regret if you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I knew that, you know, but it just really, I guess, took somebody else saying that somebody that I mean, he's not a podcaster. He's not he doesn't gain anything. from. I mean, I don't know if he listens to my show, but he doesn't gain anything from whether or not I do this. But he's right in the sense that I would have regretted it because it would have been, I don't know, especially when I can talk about my life on here and talk about whatever, like there's no reason that I can't, but yeah, y'all, it was like, if I had not happened to have that conversation, I had made peace in my heart that, well, I guess I'm just not going to have an episode this, excuse me, this week. Um, Yeah, it has been crazy busy. Also, getting back accustomed to the office life. I haven't been in a situation where I was like going to an office in like over three years. Like once the pandemic started and the job I used to have sent everyone home, my department, at least I don't know what's going on now, but but, goodness. I left there two years ago, over two years ago. And at that time, everyone was still working from home. And so like we went home three years ago when the pandemic started. And then when people started going back to the office, the department I worked for did not. So like I am so used to just working from home or I'll go meet with my subcontracting clients. So I'll go to their house or we have an office that I can meet with them at as well. But like being in an office from like eight to four, no. And it's crazy because what I realize is that I'm so accustomed to that. And so like, if I get upset or something like that, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be upset with anyone around me, it could be upset about something that has nothing to do with anybody around me. But I'm so used to that when I get upset, I'm by myself. It was kind of weird where Thursday I got upset about something and then I'm like, bruh, I still got to be in this office until four with these people. Now, it's not these people. I wasn't mad at them or whatever, but still like I just got to be around people. And then there was a meeting I was going to have to go into in like 20 minutes or something. So I'm like sitting at my desk trying to like, I don't know, get myself together and this, that, and the other. Um, And I'm like, man, this is going to be an adjustment, you know. Now, there are super duper benefits to going to an office because I am so much more productive in an environment that is conducive for me to be productive. The whole reason I never wanted to work from home is because I wanted to there to be separation from home and work and even where I've had home office space in I, as far back as I can remember but definitely like 
when I started having to work from home. Now, actually, when that first started, when the pandemic started, my office space was in my bedroom. So I didn't like that, but that's all that I could do. And then um, in the next house, there was, it was a different type of setup just because my room had this like off to the side office area. So like it was technically a part of my room, but actually not like I could have easily put up a divider or whatever, but still it's like, it's just a different mindset when you're at home and you're still, you know, gizmo barking or just whatever versus if I go to the office, there's nobody there other than other people that are working and there's not any of the stuff that I got to deal with at home. But at the same time, that's been an adjustment having to get up and be somewhere by eight. (laughs) Like that really has not been a thing. You know what I mean? So it has been super super interesting um lots of adjustment lots of transition lots of and it's so crazy because I talked to Janae the other day and it's like I told y'all I'm an empty nester like I'm still staying with friends of mine but my kids don't live here so I have not lived with my kids in a few months now and it's so wild because I really, really struggled with it in the beginning. Like I cried a lot and I'm not saying I don't care because I do. And especially with Zaire, because I don't get to see him in person as much as I'd like to. I FaceTime Kayliana pretty much every day. And sometimes it'll be like a group FaceTime where it's me, her and Janae, or it's been me, her, Janae and Devon. So But at the same time, I'm so just immersed in the community that I'm with that Janae made a statement the other day that I didn't even really think about it. She was just like, wow, you really just have like a whole nother family now because I'm living with a family. So there's like, it's a married couple, their son, they're friends of mine, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm living with this whole other family and like when it comes to like holidays and stuff like that, like I could spend it with them if I want to or I could whatever. And then like the people that I work with, like I have my subcontracting clients where I meet with them and there are other subcontractors that get clients from the same company that like, I mean, I guess I can't even really say coworkers. I don't know. But I like never really see them, you know what I mean? And so the creative team, though, and that I see them. I mean, literally, there's one person in particular that I either see or talk to him like every day. And then there's other people that I see slightly less and, you know, whatever. But I see like the I interact with the same core, like four or five people very very regularly I mean because also you have to factor in the fact that this is through church so then we see each other Sunday we would see each other regardless because we would probably I mean I don't know I've been going to this church for 10 years so I could say that I would be going there regardless whether I was on the creative team or not but it would be different because you wouldn't I wouldn't interact with them as much and So I'd see them, but it'd be super distant, especially I know how I am. Like, it's almost like because of the way the, especially now that I go to the same gym as a lot of these people, or I think all of them, because either way, there's a staff workout that's at the same gym. So even if people have like gym memberships at other gyms, we all typically, I kind of just started doing that. And it's so funny how I even fought that. Like, I think I told y'all I didn't want to switch gyms. And the way the Lord did it though, is he just has me so immersed in the community that I'm in that, um, it's, yeah, it's just, it's really interesting. It's like, I've grown such close relationships with some of these people. Um, and it's so wild because it's some of the, I mean, some of them I haven't even known that long. You know what I mean? Like 
as far as like actually talking to them like maybe i'd see them around you know what i'm saying but and now it's like we've reached this point where like i can't believe especially one person in particular it's like i can't believe it's i don't know it's weird to even think there was a point when we didn't know each other or didn't talk and i don't know i think about that i think about like how we've reached this point of he's such a like i guess important a part of you know so many different parts of my life or whatever so it's just super interesting just how immersed in community i am and how my life is just just so very different and a lot of times i find myself asking like what is happening right now like not in a bad way at all but just it's just all so very interesting. And then it's all just such a busy, 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 busy time of year. So much opportunity for growth. So much opportunity for, um, yeah, growth. <laughs> Heavy on the growth. There's just lots of opportunity right now. To grow, there's lots of opportunity right now to operate in things and ways that have already been like in me, but I just needed the space to actually flourish and operate in them, or maybe that's in the other order. But also seeing the ways that the Lord has prepared me to just like wisely steward and navigate well the season that I'm in because a lot of what I'm doing now is like stuff that I've been doing in a different maybe capacity or maybe in a different way but it's like the skills that are the fruit of whatever I was doing are there and they're now being used in a different way um, and it really just makes me think about how one of the things I do with I think I said this on here before. I don't know. But one of the things I do with all of the subcontracting clients that I have is create a resume for them. And some of them may not have any previous employment history as far as the traditional sense having had a job. And so then what I'll start doing is like, hey, have you ever babysat, you know, family members or whatever or friends or or not friends, but like somebody's kids or whatever did you get paid for that? Okay. How old were you when you first started doing that? You know what I mean? A, residential child care. And I have a job description for that. Did you ever go out and, you know, mow lawns in the summer, go around the neighborhood and shovel um, driveways or whatever in the winter? Did you get paid for that? Oh, self-employment, seasonal I can't remember what I have it listed as like, because at the end of the day, you can get skills from volunteer work that will help you in a employment setting. You know what I mean? And so as I think about what I'm doing now in life and what it took to get me here, it's basically like I'm in full time ministry, but I've never been in full-time ministry. So it's, and it's, and even like what I'm doing, it's project management that literally I could do that anywhere. You know what I mean? I could do that for any company. And so it's just, it's so interesting because it's ministry, but there's still like the court kind of like a corporate side of things and me seeing, and then it's like, a lot of the stuff I'm really passionate about is like super helpful with what I'm doing. And so, yeah, it's just, it's such an interesting season, super busy. The holidays are here again. Um, and listen, <laughs> once Christmas Eve is over, we get a week off from the project, a little actually over a week a week and a day or something like that. I don't know, but we get Christmas to New Year's Day off. That's what it is where I'm not. I mean, there's not there's online church even on December 31st and it's not 
like live somebody's going to be doing. So that means there's nothing any of us have to do as far as be at a, the building or do any of that. I'm going to watch online. Yep, yep, yep. But it'll be nice to, for a week, only focus on one thing. But if I'm honest, I have, I realize, always been the type of person, when I think back of, I was a mom, I was a full-time employee, and I was a full-time college student at one point in my life. So I've always been the type of person that has the capacity to do a lot of things at the same time. And the only interesting thing now is that I don't have kids that I'm raising to consider. So like back then, that was my world. Like my kids, work, school, that's it. I had a social life to a degree, but not really. It was really, if you were a part of whatever I had going on, where I go to church or whatever. All right, cool. Yep. Oh yeah. We go to lunch. We go whatever. But it was always heavy on school, heavy on whatever. And so it's really interesting to be doing a lot of different things, but I don't have kids to consider. Now, I know there are days that Gizmo be like, I got him messed up because I will leave in the morning and not come home. And one time I left at like 645 and I didn't get home until like after nine. Now, the good thing about Gizmo, even though I'm sure he be annoyed on and that doesn't happen often, but I'm sure he'd be annoyed when he has to be in his kennel during that time. But the nice thing about him is he only needs to go out once in the morning and once at night. And so he hasn't he doesn't pee or poop in his kennel like while I'm gone. Now, I don't know what he would do if he was roaming around free, but that's not the life that he's living. <laughs> like, I don't trust him like that because I feel like he would scratch the heck out of the door or something because sometimes if I leave him in the room and I go out and do whatever, he'd be doing too much. So I don't even trust him like that. But other than that, besides Gizmo, I don't have like kids. It's just crazy. But I guess it's good because. I can just fully focus on all the things I want to do. And yeah, so that is where things are at now. Um, I'm not going to say, well, I guess I will say as the holiday season is here. I mean, I'm going to drop another episode in a couple of days, actually, <laughs> but as the holiday season is here, man, I just, who, cause some of y'all sometimes, and I feel you, I've been there sometimes holidays, family gathering, man, it'd be, it'd be, who, it'd be something else. You might want to be somewhere else. You might feel like you got a pregame before you go with the family because whatever. And so as you're leading up to this, as I always say, and I always say this because this is important always, take care of yourself mentally, right? Take care of yourself emotionally. And that is going to look different, different days. I was about to say different seasons, but sometimes in, in different minutes, right? You got to figure out what you need to be healthy. You got to do what you got to do to be spiritually healthy. That is literally the most important aspect of my being healthiness or <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word but it's so funny because I am such an external processor as y'all could tell and I really just talk things out cuz sometimes in the moment it almost feels like I'm a little bit of a space cadet but that's okay so my spiritual health is literally the most important aspect of my life. They're all important and I invest in all of them. But when I tell you I've been praying like never before in this season, and it's a season where a lot of good things are happening. And like, I really appreciate the people that I spend a lot of time with, you know what I'm saying? And so there's a lot of good, but I got to pray like never before, you know what I'm saying? And especially when I got to get up in people early in the morning, like I need to get up even earlier 
so that I could be mentally and emotionally and spiritually prepared to people because I'm not an extrovert. And so that's the thing, too. I've been doing a lot of peopling lately and I love people. I love the people that I'm spending all this time with, but it it drains me emotionally because just literally just because I'm an extrovert, I mean, an introvert. And so I got to have time by myself to refresh myself. So I start that my day like that. That way I could go into the day in a good way. And you got to do what you got to do to take care of yourself physically, right? I am proud of myself because overall, for the most part, I have been actually dedicated to my Snatch 40s journey. And it's so funny. I was talking to the same person about, because I'm supposed to go to the gym at least three times a week. I could go four because I could get a fourth workout session for free or whatever, but it's a little tricky with my work schedule right now. So for the most part, I can make it for three. And so I was trying to figure out what that is going to look like this week, because I actually have a hair appointment. It was already scheduled. And if you know anything about black women and their hair appointments, I bet you I had that hair appointment booked a while ago. And it just is what it is. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I can't move it around. I'm going, but it's also where I'm going to be missing a workout to get my hair done. But here's the thing. I was talking to my friend about like even my workout schedule this week. And he was like, well, are you going to make your three? And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> like, and so I'm like, it's so funny going through my calendar. Cause like when he said that I had to think like, well, am I? So I'm going through my days and I'm like, I could try to do this. I could try to do this. I know I could do this, blah, 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 blah. But it's important to me and I feel good and I feel better and I sleep better and sleeping good is so important to your physical health as well. All of those things are super important though, being mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically healthy so that you can be healthy in your relationships. And as I said, the holidays are coming up. You're going to be around family that sometimes you only see on the holidays. You're going to be around family maybe that gets on your nerves. However, man, life is short. You never know what's going to happen. And, And it's always that way where I see it all the time on social media. Somebody dies and then somebody's going to be like, man, I wish we were closer or, you know, we wasn't on the best of terms, but you know what I'm saying? Like, but you could squash all that or you could whatever while they're still living and live in peace and harmony with people. And I'm not saying be a doormat and let people mistreat you, but I am saying like, if if you're the problem, like do your part to, to have healthy relationships with people. So That is my encouragement to y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Ladies and gents, this concludes transmission. Tune in next time for a whole new edition, another adventure and mission to share, be heard, and clarify the vision of this whole new world for...